Hello, good morning and welcome. It's Justin from Basic Miniature Painting and in today's video I will be reviewing and unboxing and just general chit chat about these guys. Okay, I did get halfway through filming this but then I got a phone call so I had to redo it because I'm filming this on my mobile phone. Okay, All right, let's start again shall we? These guys, Fast Flowers, Volkite Berserkers. Little Dwarves, and this is the box they come in, okay? Ten Citadel Miniatures. Now the reason why I've chose these is because I think everyone le needs to know how to paint skin. It can be tricky, but I'm going to show you a dead simple way of doing it, okay? Now, this is the box they come in. Ten Volkoid Berserkers, okay? Warhammer and our Age of Sigma, okay, which is why they don't have any blasters or bolt guns or anything like that. Because it's Age of Sigma, and it's set so many thousands and thousands of years before Warhammer 40k. Right, let's find the box. Well detailed, nice box, clear. You can clearly see if you want to copy the paint scheme on the front of the box. You can see you got. Orange flesh, steel color. There, you've got in the bases gravel, the little let's call it a loincloth just there. Shields, the axes, okay. Even the tattoos, you just see on his foot, just there, okay. On the back, is that. okay, right. So let's start off here. You can see one guy is carrying the horn of Grimnar. Just there. Okay, so that's well pictured. Well detailed. You can see you just copy the colour schemes from the front. Or from this box, sorry. You've got this side the same as well. Pictured with the war pick just there. So it looks like a pickaxe. Got the shield. Just there, which is the bladed sling, bladed sling shield. Sorry. Even got a picture of the Ur Gold runes. <clears throat> okay, so if you do your the guy's flesh, just make them stand out. You might be a different color, so you can have them gold. You don't have to have them gold, but dwarves are known for the love of gold. That's why they live all in mountains and mining for gold. They love their gold. So, but you can do these as a random bunch. But they don't love gold. They love lead. So you do like a silver colour. You know, whatever you want. Another picture of the blade of sling shield. Okay. Deep reds. Slightly bit of orange inside, but that's easy to do. Even the fire steel hand axe. It's there. Your double axe. And that miniature looks really awesome. That there, you can see he's got the little dragon thing up there. Okay, and a little throwing axe as well, just there. So all in all, fantastic box. And also, what these boxes come on come with now, they they never used to. I'm of the age when they just literally would come with nothing on the back, just the pictures, and that's it. But now, paint scheme. Okay. So it says here for the dwarf skin, Bugman's Glow. It's a base colour. Then you wash that all over, like I've showed you before in Boggle when I did the Necron Warriors. Show you how to wash them, what not to do, what to do. Then it's a layer of Cadian Flesh Stone to lighten up the skin, and then a high, fine highlight the Kislev Flesh. Okay, and for the air, sorry, the hair, you don't have to follow this. I was talking to the manager of my local games workshop, Matt Ackrell, great guy, in Kings Lynn. He said, you don't have to do the hair orange. You don't have to. But dwarves are known for having red flaming hair. You can do it whatever colour you want. But for this one, for these guys, they've just gone... Orange, or 
Jacaro orange at the base, washed it with Fugan orange, and then a layer of fire dragon right. Same for the gold, gold is symbol. You can see Balthazar gold, Raiklin flesh shade, even. Again, it's gold and auric armor gold. Okay, so that's the box. Okay, I will show you what we got inside. First things first. Bases. These bases are a lot bigger than the standard bases that you get in packs. Come on, focus. There you go. Okay. So that's the standard size base for these dwarves. But these, see this guy? That's this little Cadian Imperial Guard, which I decided to do. That's the difference in base size. You see that? No. Pen in there, and the standard. Instructions. Always need instructions. You can see, you can do these two different ways. Okay, you can do them, your berserkers, or crazy dwarves, with the hand axes. Yeah? And see the giant axes? If that's the case, you want to do all them. You have the horn of Grimnar as well at the front. Go through steps one to seven. Okay? If you want to do it with the war pick and bladed sling shield, so they've got a little pick there. Give me a better picture just there. And with the Horn of Grimnar and the shield, follow steps 1 to 3, then 8 to 12. Okay, so it's really, really simple to follow. <coughs> As you can see, different body parts for different, different dudes. Carl is the guy with the double axe. So Carl is... That guy. That's Carl. So you would use his body for that dude there, okay? Right. Same again, Horn Grimnar, guy there. You'd use that body, which is number three, and there's two types of that, okay? Again, the little loincloth thingies, hair pieces, the heads, all greatly, all well numbered. So, how many you've got and of what piece, okay? Hand axes, just there. Goes through step by step. Look, he even had to do Carl on his own. The little double-handed go with the double axes, right? And the Hornet Grimnar as well. So you literally just copy, get each piece, do it that way. Yeah. For the Berserkers with the shield and the picks, there. Yeah. So even tells you. When you've gone through stages of one to seven to do just these dudes, it even tells you there what they look like. Yeah. So you got one guy that's Carl with his big double, I call him like a double Mohegan, just there, and I don't know, probably his brother or something. I don't know, just there, and all the rest of the dudes there. Yeah. So that's the instructions. And then head to do Carl with hand pick and a shield. And you've even got if you want to take it to on the table and actually play Age of Sigma, Age of Sigma with your dice and stuff. Those there, though. they range, so they can move eight inches. They get one attack, roll one to attack, to hit plus four, to wound plus four. So you roll your dice. I know I don't understand anything about playing the game. I really don't. I should do, but I've had no interest in actually playing the game. I just like painting. Um, I guess I will get into playing the game, but at the moment, not quite yet. So that's that. Yeah. It's just all stuff in the back. Right. These come with these two sprues are exactly the same. So I will just review this one. Right, we have the 
the hand picks. Pickaxes, call them. Well detailed as well. Just get a little bit closer. Which I think is what you need to do. You need to start with stuff which has fine detail. Start with the basic stuff like I have look with the Necrons or Space Marines. <clears throat> then move on to slightly smaller stuff with finer detail. That way you'll learn how to paint stuff with fine detail. Yeah? So you can see the pickaxes, all well numbered, look, 44, 45, 43. We follow the instructions, you can't go wrong. Here's the shields. All different types of shield, well detailed. See that one's got a couple of little things there. That one's got spirals. That one's just got gaps on that one. Okay, there's the body. Just there. And that's the back. See the little runes on the back. Let's look at the front. Yeah, hands. All well numbered, can't go wrong. Okay. Alright, this is the second or the largest brew. On this you have heads and axes and hair and the rest of the bodies. <coughs> okay. Right, we'll start with the axes, because these are cool. Okay. All well detailed. My camera. There you go. Loving the hair, look, that guy is going to be awesome. I think he's quite cool, that one. With a double pigtail. And he even on his beard. That's quite cool. That one's got pigtails and the rest of his beard. Okay. That's the hair. There. You've got the little loincloth things there. Again. All well numbered. Turn them over. Okay. That's the hair, that's the bodies as well, as I showed you. What else is there to have a look at? Let's just have a look at this guy here. Look at the front of this guy. Right. I've got a close up shot of that because simply because you can see the rune stones on his chest. Yeah? And like I say, if you're going to do his, flesh, his skin flesh colour, you want to make them stand out like they don't want gold, but dwarves love their gold, okay? That's why they live in mountains and mines and stuff, okay? See them gold. But make them shine, make them pop out, which I will show you how to do. But that is the sprues. Now I hope you've enjoyed I'll put this back here, the video. Like, comment and subscribe, please do. If you've got any comments, anything at all. If you like the video, just press that little button. That's all you got to do. It make me feel a hell of a lot better. So I get them likes. Love the fact that you guys watch these videos and where you watch them from. Because I had a look and there are people watching from France, Germany. Even had a few from Australia, which is like pretty cool. So please, like, comment. Sorry about the noise. I'm just want to put them back. And subscribe. And that would be fantastic. Now, I hope you've, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I am now going to, if this decided to go in the box, which is not. Get in there, you sod. There you go. Oops. Sorry about the camera move. That's a bit of a shock. I'm going to finish these guys. And what I'm going to do with these. Go on, camera. This is going to. Are you going to do anything? There you go. I'm going to dry brush the base. I won't use this brush because this is a wash brush. I'll just use the point. I'm going to dry brush that. Okay. Miniature. Basically. Done. You've got the transfer on there. And that transfer was a pain. That one, I have weathered that transfer, so that's why it looks a bit damaged. So I am literally just going to highlight the base. Or, sorry. Yeah, dry brush the base. And I've got... 
for the base, this is what I use. This is just, like I said, this is just a ramble video. And what I'm going to be doing as well today. This stuff. See, fine, it is ideal for sand. Again, it's just literally watered down PVA glue, wacky modeling, and hey presto. And for the bases, I'm going to use that stuff. For my minis, that's a, this is what I'm doing today. To do in a minute. Open this box. Open sesame. There you go. Right. You got medium tufts. Grass pieces. Basically, a piece of grass. I need a symbol to do. Peel it off. Stick it off. That's it. You don't have to. You can glue them, but I just don't tend to because it's easy just to. Because they're already stuck on, actually. They're not going to come off. So I'll just peel it off. Stick it on. It's that simple, right? But that's what I'm going to do, be doing today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. A bit of a ramble towards that last bit, but like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.